It all started back when I was about eight years old or so. We had those corner stores. Uh, every couple blocks there was always a corner store that had the little comic book rack. And I remember I, I saw one for the first time. There was a Batman comic book on it. And I'd never seen comics before and uh, I flipped through that because I loved telling stories and I loved drawing, but I'd never made the connection of using both. And then when I saw this book doing that, and with all the colors and the amazing artwork and everything, I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to make comic books. I wasn't interested in drawing Batman or Spider-Man. I loved all those characters and I loved reading those books. But my main focus has always been bringing something new to the table. Now I gotta create my own characters and I have to figure out all my characters' backgrounds and all that. And then I started developing, you know, these books and these comics. And then you get to a point where you're enjoying it so much that you're thinking, this is what I want to do with my life. This is my weapon of choice, mechanical pencil. I do comics very traditionally and very old school and whenever anyone sees my stuff there they always say oh wow old school and uh, I get a comment a lot where people say wow it looks like you inked it by hand how did you do that I was like I inked it by hand when they see what we're doing kind of like okay this is this looks nothing like anything else that's out there right now it's not all polished it's not all digital it's gritty and it's I think that we've carved uh, a big enough niche to be able to entertain those people that have those tastes and uh, are looking for what I look for. Now that's looking gritty. A lot of the biggest challenges in uh, the independent comic book industry is uh, you're, you're not really doing it for a living. So this isn't paying all the bills. This is more a labor of love kind of uh, arrangement. So you kind of keep trying to make it and, and I don't know, we somehow have a habit in our heads that success is measured in like global success and, and if you don't make it, you know, you didn't do it, you failed. So you may as well just stop and focus on your family and get a real job and all that and kind of fell into that for a while and as the years went by, uh, there was just a very unsatisfied, very kind of an unhappiness that was always just below the surface because you you weren't doing what you felt was your destiny kind of thing or that you weren't fulfilling your purpose. I uh, got back into it um, around 2010 and then that's when I created uh, Calavera the Undead. The idea was just to do a comic book series for fun just to uh, get back into drawing and, and get good at it. And uh, to my surprise, the series did well. It was cool, about a year later, American publisher Insane Comics picked it up and republished it in full color. It's almost always a surprise still after all this time because as an artist and a creator and all that, you're never really happy with what you do. You're trying your best and, and you're always getting better, but it's never good enough through your eyes. So when somebody will take the time to to make a big deal out of a certain page that you did or a certain book really connected with them or they really, really love this drawing that you did of this character or this cover that you did for this. It's very inspiring. The skull, the, the, it looks meaty at the same time bony. Like, that's amazing, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of people have more of a grand purpose. You know, they be, become doctors and they, they find cures for diseases and stuff and things that are very is very very important but for me my destiny and, and my purpose is just making comic books for some reason and uh, I only seem to be truly happy when I'm doing that I've been fortunate enough now that it's generating enough income that I can do it part-time and only have to work part-time it sounds lazy but I try to work as little as possible to get by so that I can do what I love to do and so pretty much my whole life has just been spent trying to figure out a way to scrape by and survive then to me that's that's enough that's living the dream right there you got, you, you, please.
Excuse me once, Arella. Hey, Todd Jones here. Hope you like my feature on Nevin. If you did, how about you click the like button down below and share this video with all your friends. If you want to find out more information about Nevin Arnold and Hangman Comics, visit monsterella.ca. Hey, look, it's Calavera. Do me a favor, roll the untag. <laughs>